we're going to explore how to link this data, which is basically data from a flowchart, to a Visio drawing so that when I drop each shape onto my Visio drawing, each part of the process, um, it will ask me to assign one of these records to that shape. Now my, my list is fairly simple, yours is probably going to be a lot more complicated. But what I've got is I've got a unique identifier for each record, that's important. And I've just got the task name, the owner and the department. What you're going to need to do in order to use the database wizard in Visio is you're going to need to name this table. Now if you've never named a table before, very simple to do. All you do is you select the cells in the table and then up here you go to your name box which currently gives the cell address for the active cell and you just type in a name. You can't have a space in the name uh, so I'm just going to keep it fairly simple. Press enter to store the name. Just to make sure that has been named correctly, just click back on that drop down in the name box, select data, and it should select your table. I'm then going to just save the workbook and then I can close it down. The next step is to set up an ODBC data source for the Visigo uh, flowchart, and that will enable us to link our Excel spreadsheet with our Visio spreadsheet, uh, our Visio drawing. Now you'll need to go to control panel to do that. So in Windows 8, I'll press my Windows button on the keyboard, choose my control panel. And what you're looking for is the administrative tools. Now, if your screen doesn't look like this, when you go into control panel, um, you need to change your view by setting. Normally it looks like this. If you change it from category to uh, small or large icons, uh, you'll better see things a little bit more clearly. So I'm going for administrative tools. And what I'm going to do is set up an ODBC data source 32 bit. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm dealing with Excel files, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to click on add. And what I want to do is search for the correct Excel driver. Now I'm dealing with an Excel SX file, so that's no good, that old driver there. But if I scroll down a little bit, I eventually get to the correct driver, which includes the Excel SX. Uh, file type. So I click on finish. I need to give the data source a name so I can call it data uh, for training flowchart. And then I need to select the correct workbook. So click on select workbook. And you need to browse until you can find the particular file that you're after. It's a little way down. In my folder system and uh, I'm going to make sure I select the right one so there we are the XLSX version of things click on OK so I've given it a name I've selected my workbook I can click on OK there I can click on OK there and then I've finished with the administrative tools and I've finished with the control panel so now we're ready to link our data source with our Visio file uh, I'm just going to fire up Visio and create uh, my new drawing. So I'm going to create a basic flowchart. Now I can't really link um, my data sources to these shapes here. These are kind of locked down so I can't really do much with them. But if I place one of those shapes onto my drawing it does appear in the document stencil. And if I select that I can link uh, each record to uh, this shape. So when I drag the shape on, I can then choose the correct record from the database. So that's kind of your first step. Put an instance of the shape on there, open up the document stencil, and then select that master shape. So now we need to open up the database wizard. Now to do that, you go to view, and add-ons, video, Visio extras, database wizard. Now this first step of the wizard just gives you a little bit of information about how the wizard works. We'll just pass over that so next choose what you want to do link shapes to the database records that is exactly what we want to do you have got a couple of other options there choose the shape type for which you want to define links well it could be shapes in a drawing or masters on a document stencil which is what you want the other option is masters on a visio stencil that would have to be a visio stencil that you have created not one of the standard ones 
click on next choose a drawing uh, to base this connection on well we're in drawing one so that's fine and choose the shape or the master shape that you want to link your data to well this is the shape that we're linking to it's the only one in the document stencil so that's why it's the only one showing there so we click next we now have to pick out our database now this is the one the data source this is the one that I created here data for training flowchart I click on next now you may remember that we named that table that's why that name comes up there it's already selected um, so that is required you're going to have to name a table and then going to have to make sure it's selected in that list you've got more names in your uh, Excel workbook you're going to need to make sure you select the correct name click on next so choose the number of fields that comprise the primary key for the selected table. Now you remember that we have process number. That was the unique identifier for each record. So we've only got one field. Now we need to choose which field that is. And it was process number. Choose a default key value for the list of possible values from the list of possible values below. Click none if you want no default value. Well, we don't want it to choose a particular process number or a particular step. Uh, when we throw a, a shape onto a drawing, so I'm going to say none. Choose the event and action to add to the shape. So when we add this shape to our drawing, what do we want to do? We want to select a record on draw. There's some other things that can be included uh, in the shapes once they've been added to the drawing. You can right click and get these options. You then need to choose the shape cell to be used for storing the primary key value. That's our process number field. Next. This step's a little bit more involved because what you've got to do is match your database fields uh, with the cell fields within the shape. So um, our department field, uh, we can match with uh, prop department, property department. Click on add. Uh, our owner field, we can match with prop owner. Click on add. And if we uh, scroll down our task field, that's the actual name that we want to appear uh, in, in, in the shape itself, uh, we're actually going to link with shape text rather than a particular field. So if I click on add, click on next, this will just summarize the database wizard and how it's going to link to your Visio shapes. You can click on finish to accept. So um, I can just delete this uh, original shape. That I've got there, I don't need that anymore. But I'm going to drag uh, my process shape onto uh, from the document stencil onto the drawing, and immediately it's going to ask me to select which database record I want to include. So uh, I'm going to select one, so I click on OK, and um, you can see if we zoom in that um, it's actually put the name of the uh, task within the uh, shape itself. And in my shape data window, now if you don't know how to get that on your screen, you just go to view, task pane, shape data, it toggles it on and off. It shows us the other information. So for example, uh, process number one, owner was Bob, uh, department sales. So if I add another one, um, it'll ask me again, I can put in two and so on and so forth. One thing you'd probably want to do is get rid of these uh, fields that are not being used uh, in our shape. And you can do that just by editing uh, your process shape down here. So I'm going to just right click there. I'm going to go to Edit Master, Edit Master Shape. Right click on the shape in the shape window. Go to Data, Define Shape Data. So we weren't using cost, so I'm going to delete that. Uh, we weren't using function, I'll delete that. We weren't using start date or end date or status. So we weren't using those fields. We've just got the three fields we are using. Click on OK. I'm going to close this database window, uh, this shape window. Click on the little cross here. Click on yes to update process and all its instances. Click on OK. So now when I select my shapes, I only get the relevant field showing in the shape data window. Now, you can actually get these shapes to automatically update if you update the underlying data in your Excel spreadsheet. 
I'll show you how that works. So it's not quite automatic, you have to ask it to update, but at least it will feed through the new information. So I'm going to open up uh, Excel and I'm going to go to the database that we used. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide that um, Bob is currently uh, the person who owns this task, but I'm actually going to change it to Basil. I think he might be the best chap to do this particular task. I'm just going to save and I'll minimize. Now at the moment you can see that Bob is owning the task in my spreadsheet, but what I'm going to do is update this shape and refresh the shape property. So I right click on the shape and I go to refresh shape properties and there we are, it updates the data there. You can also update the data source by changing the data within Visio. So this uh, task text or our shape text is actually linked to uh, the task name in our uh, Excel spreadsheet. So if I was to go in here and just make a small change, so our training course. So just made a small change to the description of the task there. I'm going to right click on the uh, shape. And what I'm going to do is update the database record. Now, when it does, when I do that, I actually get an error message. A Visio error cannot transfer all the data. And if I click on the ODBC error message, what it tells me is that the operation must use an, an updatable query. So the way you solve that problem is you have to go back to your um, control panel, uh, administrative tools, and reopen the ODBC um, data source administrator. And what I'm going to do is select my data source and configure it. And the way to get around this problem is to click on options and then untick read only. Okay, so click on OK. Click on OK again. And close this down. So now, if I just undo what I did here, and let's see if I can update the data source again. So what I'm going to do is update database record. And it doesn't come up with a problem. If I open up my Excel spreadsheet, you can see that it has updated the task name in my Excel spreadsheet. So the data is two way. You can update your Excel spreadsheet and it'll update Visio and vice versa. The good news is, is that the database wizard is available in any version of Visio. Uh, I've shown you this using Visio standard. If you have Visio professional or premium, there are other slightly simpler ways of connecting your data to your shapes. Uh, which you might want to explore. Uh, but if you've got Visio Standard, this is the way to go.